All right, so you might hear me say the term bracing your core. So this is um, big for lifting. Uh, so if you want to lift heavier and heavier, um, be stronger, it's important to brace the core. And what I mean by bracing the core, doesn't mean like you're sucking in your core. It means you got to be tense, tighten up everything, provide like pressure uh, through your core, your low back area, so you're not uh, losing the rigidity of your stabilization of the core and things like that so it's going to protect your back and stuff like that especially if you're like doing heavy deadlifts or uh, squatting uh, make sure you're bracing the core and some people might not understand what I mean when I say brace the core so take a couple cues um, so think of someone about the punch in the stomach so you're breathing in with that breath fill the stomach with air and then you like someone's about to punch in the stomach you brace think of your abs should be tense and hard, and so if they punch you, it's not gonna, you're not gonna feel it as much. Whereas if you're sucking in, you're gonna, if you get punched there, that's not what you want to do. So think of breathing in, bracing, providing pressure out in front, the sides, and your low back should be tight and tense too. It's gonna provide that rigidity, so you're gonna keep your back safe and keep that tension on as you're, so you're squatting or deadlifting so it allows you to lift heavier and be safer uh, so think of something again think of someone punching you in the stomach so as you're not going to lose all that tension when you're lifting because you, if you do then you're going to going to cause you to lose that tension you're going to get weaker you're not going to be able to lift as much you're probably going to get hurt too so keep that tension think of when i say brace think of someone's about to punch you in the stomach another cue uh, this one's pretty good i heard this from jordan syatt uh it was a famous trainer. Uh, so he says, think that you're like constipated and uh, you're trying to squeeze out a poop. So you're really tension and you're trying to force that, that poop out really fast. Obviously you don't want to poop when you're doing something like a squat or a deadlift, but uh, think of that and you're just trying to push out that poop that's stuck up in there and trying to shoot it out fast as you can, but um, but you're keeping that tension and you think you're you feel that tension when you're doing that So if the uh, thing and you're getting punched in the stomach doesn't work for you think of Constipating you're trying to squeeze out a poop, but you don't want poop. So uh, I got that one from Jordan side So that's a I think that's a good one. But yeah, usually if you Thinking of getting punched in the stomach that'll help you keep the brace the core and you should learn to breathe Through the brace so you're not losing that tension as well So you should be able to breathe while keeping tension on, especially if you're doing like a heavy set of like five or more than one rep. So you're obviously going to want to breathe through that brace. So, um, and there, I have more videos on breathing too. So watch those up. But again, bracing, think of whether you get punched in the stomach or you're constipated, you're trying to squeeze that poop out. So those are two different ways to think of bracing. Um, bracing will allow that inner abdominal uh, tension to Keep your core tight, keep your back safe while you're doing uh, heavier lifting.